Verily we have sent thee in truth as a bearer of glad tidings and a warner, but of thee no question shall be asked of the companions of the blazing fire. Never will the Jews or the Christians be satisfied with thee unless thou follow their form of religion. Say, the guidance of God, that is the only guidance, wert thou to follow their desires after the knowledge which hath reached thee, then wouldst thou find neither protector nor helper against God. Those to whom we have sent the book study it as it should be studied. They are the ones that believe therein. Those who reject faith therein, the loss is their own. O children of Israel, call to mind the special favor which I bestowed upon you, and that I preferred you to all others for my message. Then guard yourselves against a day when one soul shall not avail another, nor shall compensation be accepted from it nor shall intercession profit it nor shall anyone be helped from outside. And remember that Abraham was tried by his Lord with certain commands, which he fulfilled. He God said, I will make thee an example to the nations. He pleaded, and also examples from my offspring. He God answered, But my promise is not within the reach of evil doers. Remember we made the house a place of assembly for men and a place of safety and take ye the station of Abraham Mount Moriah as a place of prayer and we covenanted with Abraham and Isaac, that they should sanctify my house for those who compass it round, or use it as a retreat, or bow, or prostrate themselves there, in prayer. And remember Abraham said, My Lord, make this a city of peace, Jeru, Salem, in Hebrew, and feed its people with fruits, such of them as believe God and in the last day. He said, Yea, and such as reject faith, for a while will I grant them their pleasure, but will soon drive them to the torment of fire, an evil destination indeed. And remember Abraham and Isaac raised the foundations of the house with this prayer. Our Lord, accept this service from us. For thou art the all-hearing, the all-knowing. Our Lord, make us true in faith, bowing to thy will, and of our progeny a people true in faith, bowing to thy will, and show us our place for the celebration of due rites and turn unto us in mercy, for thou art the oft returning, most merciful. Our Lord, send amongst them a messenger of their own, who shall repeat thy signs to them and instruct them in scripture and wisdom, and sanctify them. For thou art the Almighty, the wise, and who turns away from the religion of Abraham except such as debase their souls with folly. Him we chose and rendered pure in this world, and he will be in the hereafter in the ranks of the righteous. Behold, his Lord said to him, Yield thy will to me. He said, I yield my will to the Lord and cherisher of the universe, and this was the legacy that Abraham left to his sons, and so did Jacob, O oh my sons. God hath chosen the faith for you, then die not except in the faith trust in God's will, were ye witnesses when death appeared before Jacob. Behold, he said to his sons, What will ye worship after me? They said, we shall worship thy God and the God of thy fathers, of Abraham, Ishmael and Isaac, the one true God. To him we yield our wills. That was a people that hath passed away. They shall reap the fruit of what they did, and ye of what ye do. Of their merits there is no reference in your case. They say, Become Jews or Christians if ye would be guided to salvation, say thou. Nay. I would rather, the religion of Abraham the true, and he joined not gods with God, say ye. We believe in God, and the revelation given to us, and to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and the tribes of Israel, and that given to Moses and Jesus, and that given to all prophets from their Lord, we make no difference between one and another of them. And we yield our wills to God's will, as they all said and did. So if they believe as ye believe, they are indeed on the right path, but if they turn back, it is they who are in schism, but God will suffice thee as against them, and he is the all-hearing, the all-knowing. Our religion is the baptism of God, and who can baptize better than God? And it is he whom we worship. 
Say, will ye dispute with us about God, seeing that he is our Lord and your Lord, that we are responsible for our doings and ye for yours, and that we are sincere in our trust in him? Or do ye say that Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob and the twelve tribes were Jews or Christians, say, do ye know better than God, ah, who is more unjust than those who conceal the testimony they have from God? But God is not unaware of what ye do. That was a people that hath departed from the way. They shall reap the fruit of what they did, and ye of what ye do. Of their merits there is no reference in your case. The fools among the people will say, what hath turned them from Abraham's sacrifice at which they were used to quibbling, say? To God belong both east and west. He guideth whom he will to the way that is straight, thus, have we made of you a people justly balanced, that ye might be witnesses over the nations, and the messenger a witness over yourselves and we appointed the sacrifice to which thou wast used, only to test those who followed the messenger from those who would turn on their heels from the faith. Indeed it was a change momentous, except to those guided by God. And never would God make your faith of no effect. For God is to all people most surely full of kindness, most merciful. We see the turning of thy face for guidance to the heavens. Now shall we turn thee to a sacrifice that shall please thee. Turn thy face in the direction of the holy temple. Wherever ye are, turn your faces in that direction. The people of the book Bible know well that that is the truth from their Lord. Cross reference: First Kings chapter eight, verse twenty-nine to thirty. That thine eyes may be open toward this house night and day, even toward the place of which thou hast said, My name shall be there. That thou mayest hearken unto the prayer which thy servant shall make toward this place. And hearken thou to the supplication of thy servant, and of thy people Israel, when they shall pray toward this place, and hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place, and when thou hearest, forgive. End of cross reference. Second Chronicles chapter 3 verse 1. Then Solomon began to build the house of the IAM at Jerusalem in Mount Moriah, where the IAM appeared unto David his father, in the place that David had prepared in the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. End of cross reference. Nor is God unaware of what they do. Even if thou wert to bring to the people of the book all the signs together, they would not follow thy sacrifice nor art thou going to follow their sacrifice nor indeed will they follow each other's sacrifice. If thou after the knowledge hath reached thee, wast to follow their vain desires, then wast thou indeed clearly in the wrong. The people of the book know this as they know their own sons, but some of them conceal the truth which they themselves know. The truth is from thy Lord, not from Satan, so be not at all in doubt. To each is a goal to which God turns him, then strive together as in a race towards all that is good. Wheresoever ye are, God will bring you together. For God hath power over all things. From whencesoever thou startest forth, turn thy face in the direction of the holy temple that is indeed the truth from the Lord. And God is not unaware of what ye do. So from whencesoever thou startest forth, turn thy face in the direction of the holy temple and wheresoever ye are, turn your face thither, that there be no ground of dispute against you among the people, except those of them that are bent on wickedness, so fear them not, but fear me, and that I may complete my favours on you, and ye may consent to be guided. A similar favor have ye already received, in that we have sent among you a messenger of your own, rehearsing to you our signs, and sanctifying you, and instructing you in scripture and wisdom, and in new knowledge. Do ye remember me, then I will remember you. Be grateful to me, and reject not faith. O oh, ye who believe, seek help with patient perseverance and prayer, for God is with those who patiently persevere and say not of those who are slain in the way of God. They are dead, nay, they are living, though ye perceive it not reincarnation. 
Be sure we shall test you with something of fear and hunger, some loss in goods or lives or the fruits of your toil, but we give glad tidings to those who patiently persevere, who say, when afflicted with calamity. To God we belong, and to Him is our return, they are those on whom descend blessings from God, and mercy, and they are the ones that receive guidance. Behold! Sapha being born again as your spirit being cross reference John chapter 3 verse 3 to 7 Jesus answered and said unto him verily verily I say unto thee except a man be born from above he cannot see the kingdom of God Nicodemus saith unto him how can a man be born when he is old can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water human, and then is born later, from above as his spirit being his real self which is not human, he can not enter into the kingdom of God who is a spirit being. That which is born of the flesh is human, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit a spirit being a human plus being. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. End of cross reference. And Marwa, the water of life, cross reference, John chapter 4, verse 10. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. End of cross reference. Are among the symbols of God. So for those who visit the house in the season, it is no sin in them, if their mind should compass them round understand at other times. And if any one obeyeth his own impulse to good, be sure that God is he who recognizeth and knoweth. Those who conceal the clear signs we have sent down, and the guidance, after we have made it clear for the people in the book, on them shall be God's curse, and the curse of those entitled to curse, except those who repent and make amends and openly declare the truth, to them I turn, for I am oft returning, most merciful. Those who reject faith, and die rejecting, on them is God's curse, and the curse of angels, and of all mankind, they will abide therein, their penalty will not be lightened, nor will respite be their lot. And your God is one God. There is no God but He, most gracious, most merciful. Behold! In the creation of the heavens and the earth, in the alternation of the night and the day, in the sailing of the ships through the ocean for the profit of mankind, in the rain which God sends down from the skies, and the life which he gives therewith to an earth that is dead, in the beasts of all kinds that he scatters through the earth, in the change of the winds, and the clouds which they trail like their slaves between the sky and the earth, here indeed are signs for a people that are wise. Yet there are men who take for worship others besides God, as equal with God, they love them as they should love God. But those of faith are overflowing in their love for God. If only the unrighteous could see, behold, they would see the penalty, that to God belongs all power, and God will strongly enforce the penalty. Then would those who are followed clear themselves of those who follow them. They would see the penalty, and all relations between them would be cut off. And those who followed would say, If only we had one more chance, we would clear ourselves of them, as they have cleared themselves of us, thus will God show them the fruits of their deeds as nothing but regrets. Nor will there be a way for them out of the fire. O oh, ye people! Eat of what is on earth, lawful and good and do not follow the footsteps of the evil one, for he is to you an avowed enemy. <laughs>